What is going on guys? My name is Epic Soren and welcome back to SimCity. Um in the last episode we had a zombie attack. So that wasn't good. But we have been building up our population a lot more. We have been um expanding and keeping everything in the green so far. I think all of our stuff is on now, right? That's on. That's on. That's on on on. Awesome. Everything's on. That's good. Um, we've got a few taller buildings starting to pop up. Um, I didn't really spend much time over here. Oh, my mouse sensitivity was down. No wonder it felt like it was down. It was. I didn't really spend much time over here in the last episode, but I really do like this neighborhood. I hope you guys like it, too. I want to do more stuff, more little neighborhoods like this in the future, if we have time. We might not, though, so we will see. Awesome, we got some more stuff going up here. We've got, uh, like, a legitimate downtown area starting to develop now, and Fire City is having more fires. Who would have thunk it? Maybe we need... Oh, well, pff, no wonder. I don't have enough fire trucks. We're gonna go ahead and plop two of those down since we can afford that and a sign because always got to have the signs I mean like how are you supposed to find the fire station if there's no sign that is probably oh my <sighs> that's probably why right there why we have so many fires because I am stupid what? Sims and Fraser. No, I, I got it. Um, that's probably why we had so many fires, because I'm stupid and didn't upgrade our fire station. Okay, these people, they probably got eaten out by the zombies. I think that's where it was. It was, like, right in there. This is good, though. I like how the city is progressing. What do we need right now? We need some more medium wealth commercial. Alrighty. Let's go look at the land value while I lay out another road. Like that. Oh, wait. I want that back. Okay, awesome. Actually, let's keep it up for a little bit. All right, if we have this here, it's gonna go over in that corner, which means that that'll be like that, and that'll be like that. If you guys want, I would be more than happy to do a tutorial or multiple tutorials on the various different city layouts that I use. I think it's pretty easy to understand this one, but I have a lot up my sleeve that I am definitely... W oh, we got another one. I didn't even see that one go up. That's medium density, too. Awesome. So, you know, it's starting to look like my, uh, my hometown of Anchorage. We've got a lot of small office buildings and a couple of really tall ones, but that's about it. Alright, so they were looking for some more of this. And they're going to put a few low... Oh, we got an abandoned building here. Oh, building fire. Yep, building fire. Hmm. I'm thinking I might want to take the community college and upgrade it, where is education, to a university. It's just a little over twice as expensive, but we get um, high-tech industry, and the high-tech industry is definitely something we want. Let's see, what kind of... Residential do we need right now? We need some of both. So I'm actually gonna go with nature. 
And I'm gonna plop you right here. Like that. That's going to extend that out to where I want. And we'll do that. And can we, do we have smaller ones? Pond. Yeah, that's what I want. Is that the middle? I can't tell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 13, somewhere in there. I'm going to eyeball it... Yeah, on that one. Like that. Alrighty. Now. Do that. That. And that. That'll help our population continue to do what we want it to. And our fire service continue to be better. Now that we have a legitimate sacrifice. <laughs> I can't speak today. A legitimate fire service. I can't speak any day though, now that I think about it. Like if we're if we're gonna be honest, I can never speak, so not properly anyways. Nope, nope, I'm good. Let's look at that tech level. Okay, so those are the medium tech ones over there. We should probably put plop down some school bus stops over here. They definitely need one. We'll put one there and one there. They need one. We'll go there and there. I try to keep them on the interior roads because that way it stays out of the, the main roads traffic areas. More modern industry. Awesome. You get a medium tech medium factory, I guess, right? Yeah. Is this fully upgraded? Yes, it is. Awesome. Alrighty, I'm really liking this city so far. What is this, episode 5 or 6? I think the zombie attack was episode 5. Which means, if, if that is true, I gotta finish laying all this out so we can do the time-lapse episode. Alrighty. That's gonna drop down then, so this is gonna be like that. And that. That. And it'll slide over like that. Etc. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do medium, medium, is that the right shape? Whoa. Yeah, that's the right shape. Go medium about halfway out. Might as well go medium there, too. Alrighty, that'll, that'll give the, the city that gradient. The nice, pretty gradient. That's a lot of clicking. I'm gonna stop that. Um, that that'll give the city the nice gradient of like the low, tiny little houses to the apartments to the skyscrapers, and it'll look really nice. Hopefully. Alrighty. So, oh, we got one more. So that's gonna slide up, and it's gonna be a big one like that. And this will be like that. And that. And then these are, for now, going to be left to possibly, uh, well, this I'm going to upgrade right away to medium density because it needs to be that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to medium density all the way out to that one. That'll hopefully help manage some of that traffic better. That's one of the things I really like about this city layout. If I, whoa, pop up this 
you'll see, um, for the most part, not always, the the heaviest traffic doesn't stay heavy for a long time. This uh, this road layout manages the traffic very well, and I really like it for that. Nice, already. So we're making some progress. Um, I'm gonna turn this down on my headset a little bit. I think the volume should be fine in the game. I've gotten pretty good at telling the game what volume I want. Okay, right now, they want, mostly want, uh, medium, low wealth, it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Okay, that's medium up to there. So I'm gonna start there and take that all the way up. And I'm going to fully zone those. And I'm going to call that good for now. Oh, why are you? No power? Are we not getting enough power? 163 mega... Um... Well, that's a little interesting. Is it still going to do that? That's really weird. I did not think about that. The interesting consequences of having those extra roads. I guess I could just take them out. I probably could have done that in less clicks, but oh well. Suburba sub Suburbtopia. I have 500 residential buildings in your city. Well, thank you. But uh, I'm hoping we can get a bigger city than that. Business. Oh. Yeah, I really like the look of this city so far. If if I wasn't going for population records, I would be tempted to just leave this city like this and not let it grow to any high wealth or high uh, density. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh. You get a bandit for no power too. Yeah, figured. Was he the only one? Yeah, he must have been already. Um, whoa, my lights are flickering. Oh, I think it's just a light bulb. It's been flickering a lot lately. Alrighty, um, uh, do we need another school? That's probably a question I should be aware of. How many did you teach? Teaching zero. Well, that's, that's great. You are teaching 78. Do we have a high school? We don't. All right, I'll go ahead and plop down a high school over here then. Like that. And go ahead and give him the full loadout of buses, a sign, and a flag. And do they need a gym? They probably need a gym. And we'll give him a few extra classrooms just to be safe. Oh, should I do it? Should I make it close and see if we can't fit some low density? I don't think they'll fit. I'm going to do it like that. They can go in the back doors of the gym. See, there's plenty of back doors. Yeah. Alrighty. Oop. Doesn't look like a very good gym in there. Yeah. That's going to be tricky to play basketball on. Alrighty, but now that that is up, that's probably doing some nice, favorable stuff to the land values, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if I do that, it will go over there a little bit, but it... Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Alright, I'm gonna go do that. That. What? Did you have no power as well? It's really frustrating. Alrighty. So I'm I'm really glad you guys uh, really like this series because I really like playing this game. It's a really beautiful game. I do want to get back into SimCity or City Skylines. 
I do want to continue doing Banished, and I would like to play lots of new games. Uh, I am officially done with school now, by the time you're watching this at least. So that's awesome. Gotta keep an eye on the time. Should I go ahead and zone these? I'm trying to decide. I'm thinking I'm probably going to. Hmm. See, if I do it right there, we might be able to fit a medium density building in between. But then it doesn't matter, right? Because that's low density. And we don't want to block off that main road, so if I am do it, I should do it there. Yeah. Alrighty, so then we do that, and that, and that. And they want more of that now, so we'll go ahead and give it to them. Oh, wait, but not in the middle. We should put something useful in the middle. What should we put there? I'm going to go with a park can never have enough parks, unless they're costing you a fortune and destroying your city. That's the medium field. Maybe we should go with a smaller field this time. Go ahead and plop that there. Can we, oh, we can't fit one there. Can we put the small field? No. Playgrounds? Yeah, we can put the playgrounds. So we'll do that. that, and then that, and we can do two of those, right? No. That. There we go. It's a nice little, uh, park. The public park sign is right in the middle of the park, facing each other. Makes a lot of sense. Just like most of the city. I'm, I'm really pleased with this uh, this city so far. Business is okay. Do we not need as much? Oh, we don't. We're do. Oh, fires being a. Pro oh my goodness, these Sims. Okay, education. We need to lay out some more bus stops, obviously. So we need one there and there. And we don't need any in that block because they can all walk. I think we're good on bus stops. We might want one there, but I think we're okay. I'm gonna assume we're okay. But these Sims, man, they just... Really? It's not a hazmat fire, is it? Just a regular fire? Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Well, you'll be doing great business soon. <laughs> yeah, see? It's already selling really well. Your competition factory is burning down. Well, I was going to take a picture of it, but it's gone now, so... Fire... No shoppers. Okay, that's a new one. Um, do we have any others, or is that it? Nope, that was it. Okay. Oh, they're putting- they're polluting so much, though. Maybe they'll go automatic higher tech, hopefully. How are we doing on the power spectrum? We're doing good. If I were to put in another power plant over here... Or, not power water pump because we kind of need okay first of all I need to speed this up so we'll have enough funds to do this because they're all 60k a piece we're gonna put one there for... in 10 seconds that was definitely less than 10 seconds um, and it's going to take a while to get up the funding for another one. But we're going to build up our water supply a lot more. It's amazing what these people can pay taxes for when you tax the industry at, at 10%. Or 
Or, you know, the people. <laughs> it's it's a small town though, and like comparatively, and it's doing like really well so far, so I'm proud of it. This is awesome. We're getting some more development here. Is this a high density street here? Awesome. So we'll theoretically eventually get high density buildings in there. But we want to build up that water so we can add another tower to that. The worker education level is safe. How is our education level? It's at three. Where's the unenrolled? I'm not seeing any unenrolled. Oh, they pop up every once in a while, but then they immediately get enrolled. I'm confused. We do got a lot of upgrading though, so that's probably got something to do with it. Oh, whoa, what are those? Are those out of city buses? Pause, what are you? School bus from Fairbanks. Why are you here? We don't need you. We've got education covered. Oh, uh, I thought we were going to get a, another tall building. Like a, a really tall one, but nope. It's just going to be... Oh, it is! No? Is it? it? Yeah, it is. Awesome. That's going to be our first skyscraper. Let's go sit down by the highway and watch it pop up out of that. Look at that skyline. See, I like that skyline. I don't know about you guys, but I am very proud of this city so far. I do need to wrap up the episode soon, though. Look at that tower. That's probably built by Trump. He's pretty good at building fancy condo towers. So that gave us, what, 2,000 extra people? Tong Place. So it's the Chinese version of Trump. Tong. Oh, and that gives us an upgrade. What do you know? Okay, 75,000 is the next milestone. But I can't do any more upgrades. So, yeah. Kind of looks funny with only one really tall tower like that. But at the same time, it also kind of makes sense. I mean, for those of you who have seen uh, Chicago or Manhattan, it's like... There's one really big one surrounded by a bunch of medium ones, and then if you go really far out, you get uh, differing areas of sizes. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm talking about. What do you need here? You need more patient rooms, I think. Patients waiting, 20 out of 27. Treatment capacity. Okay, so they're almost reaching their treatment capacity. So we're going to go ahead and give them... Some more of those. Health coverage available for neighbors. Yep. Congrats. Oh, and we can do that too. Alrighty. Oh, oh, huh? Are we having power issues? It doesn't look like we are. We got a lot of red roofs in this town. Makes me think of Europe. Europe has a lot of red roofs. I think uh, we're not going to have enough money to finish upgrading that, but we might... How much do the extra reactors cost? Generation 1 thermal reactor. Standard reactor requires more water for coolant, but adds jobs and produces power that's almost problem-free. Almost. Is this the one that produces three-eyed llamas? Yeah. Fast neutron reactor. We need to do a lot of stuff to get a hold of those, though, and I do not have the time or the money to do that. We're just trying to fit a lot of people in. Nuclear reactors happen to be some of the safest, statistically, and most powerful power plants, so I'm going to probably have one of them powering every uh, section of four cities. Firebanks is over there doing okay. 
How is our region population of 270? Really? 235, 35. Oh, yeah, that is 70. Okay. So, yeah. I guess I can go ahead. Oh, I did lay that out already. Already. Um, there's a lot of regional demand for low wealth houses, but no in city demand for them. So, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we'll just leave it where it is, and I'll probably just wrap up this episode. There's a nice picture. Have some nice, peaceful nights in this city. You know, normally, I don't like it when they put the same model right next to each other like this. But in this case, it makes it look like they're, like, when they're this size. Because if you've, if you live in an area where they have giant apartment complexes, like these ones, you get apartments like this, where you have, like, three or four of the exact same building all right next to each other like that. Where I live, we don't get that. We usually only get, like, one complex, but still. Hey, maybe we can get a sunny one as the sun comes up. Maybe? Maybe not? We're still getting good frames, though. Oh, yeah. Looking out on the bright future there. I wonder how many people live in that one tower. A lot. 95 residents at the peak of the day when nobody is actually home. More people are currently in our community college than anywhere, but yeah, hundreds of people live there. And holy cow, that one's shooting up. Oh, slow down there, man. You're good. Wow. It's still going. Okay. How many you got in there? 678. Wow. They've got over 200 people in there in the middle of the day when everyone's out and working. So it's probably a pretty substantial uh, population lives in that tower. So in Alaska... About a two-hour drive from where I live is a town called Whittier, and everyone in Whittier lives in one tower. Everyone, as far as I know. The population is like double digits, but they've got this one tower, and that's where everyone lives, because the Great Anchorage Earthquake swamped the entire town. Low skill. They can't find skilled workers. Why not? We should have... Tech level is high, tech level is... Oh! I bet you that might be a problem. All the skilled workers are going to work in the nuclear power plant, so we're not going to get as many upgraded... Huh. Maybe I should put down the university. But that would be too much specializations for this city. Right now we're just trying to get... Oh! It looks like we're gonna get at some tall, like really tall buildings now, because the the high wealth ones are the ones that always get really tall. You look like you'll probably end up upgrading soon too. Yep, called it. That's a really small apartment block, but you know, okay, whatever. Yeah, dang, look at that. They're not even done yet, and it's already the tallest thing. Wow, okay. So I guess we'll get one more, and I will pick my favorite of those. So we're getting a real downtown area now. See, if I was going to have an apartment, it would definitely be this tiny little one in the top. Even though that's probably not an apartment and just access to the rooftop pool. If I'm ever going to live in a tower, which, you know, I, w I think that would be fun, I would definitely live in the penthouse. 
even though I couldn't afford it. I'd like buy the penthouse condo and then I would have to work 80 hours a week to try and make up for that. I have worked 80 hours a week though, which when you do do it, it you make bank. Alrighty. I don't really have anything else to do with for this episode, so I think for next episode I'll go ahead and lay out the final pieces of the roads and zones, and then we will call it day. Uh, we'll call it, and then we'll do the time lapse to get some bigger buildings in here. Alrighty, thank you guys very much for watching. Finally had an episode. What? Again? What are the odds of that happening twice in a row? I want to know, because now I'm furious. Where? They probably came from the clinic. Where's the clinic? I'm hearing zombies. There they are. Okay. So, zombie attack 2.0 then, I guess, is what we get. How does that happen? Like, what are the odds of that happening? Okay, thanks, yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and put up this great new tower, and now we're going to overrun it with zombies, and fill the entire downtown area with abandoned buildings because of zombies 2.0. Maybe I should play with random disasters on. Why didn't Fairbanks get any random disasters? Why is Fire City, should be called Zombie City? Or Disaster City, like for real now, because this is two zombie attacks in a row. Come on, go faster. Oh man, we're doing well. Just wait, the zombies are coming. This is a really nice tower. I would really like, well, I don't know. I might like an apartment. Oh, and oh no, there's a fire. Whoa. What, the abandoned building catches on fire? Why? Is there people there? Don't put it out. Just let it burn down. It'll be easier to bulldoze the wreckage. The zombies already ate everyone out of that. Where are they headed? Oh, over here, apparently. Devoured by zombies. <sighs> what is it with my city and zombie attacks. Like, I was even thankful last time that they didn't go for that block and destroy the biggest building at the time in the city. And... Come on, son. There we go. Okay, they only ate seven people that time, so... Yeah, what are the chances of that happening? Like, it's gotta be tiny, tiny chances. Alrighty, but... Of the buildings, that one was a fire, right? Divided by zombies, divided by zombies, no shoppers. Alrighty. Oh, and we got some giant factories going in. Alrighty, but thank you guys very much for watching. I don't even know what the thumbnail is going to be anymore. You'll see before you see this video, so yeah, enjoy it. Um, my apologies. I will take extra care to have more precautions against zombies in the future. Um, because they just really don't like this city. Or maybe they, maybe the zombies really do like this city. I, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. Or any of my other videos. You know, you might like some of them. Maybe. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Peace. Bye.